is from a, a really great fundraiser, Becky, who's sort of using Twitter as a great way of, of getting people to raise money and, and thanking people through Twitter. Um, next to that, just uh, you know, people asking me about my fascination with marble back graphs and, and that. You know, you have interesting conversations, conversations that are useful, conversations that are very deep and then conversations that aren't. But they're all useful in their own way and build up a kind of rapport between people. Um, so beneath that, between Ed, who's here, and Howard talking about, um, actually from, from the Charles I Foundation, who weren't at an event, but were following everything that people were talking about at an event through this hashtag. So it was bringing people together who were at an event and together, and people who weren't there, talking about the same same subjects. And then I just really liked her, a tweet from Jamie Oliver. I don't know about celebrities using Twitter so much because they sort of automatically get this sort of big following, but it seemed quite a nice thing to say, and uh, I, I guess I agree with his uh, sentiments so far. Thanks, John. And there's a, a side in from Bullying UK who, who unfortunately can't be here, but hopefully they're listening, um, which is what Twitter means to them. And uh, I think these are some pretty recent tweets talking about how they're essentially how they're driving um, new supporters to to their websites and how they're adding them really to their to their email list to their database to you know, people who are a little bit more engaged with them um, and that they can they can ask for support later. Um, they're using Twitter in all sorts of ways to reach out to to their beneficiaries or to people that, that need them um, to reach out to corporates to get um, you know all kinds of, of different support and to, to really build their profile. So you know they're they're one to watch and one to learn from I would say. Um, 